And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we're going to be finishing off all our plasteel harvesting. We're going to need a lot of it. And to do that, we're going to kill a whole bunch of these mega slots. There's like, what, 70 something of them? Well, there was 70 something of them. We've already killed a couple. Uh, this will also provide us 506 plasteel, a legendary LMG, and a legendary assault rifle. But before I go poking my nose at that door, I want to make sure we wall ourselves in here. It's just if you don't wall yourselves in, uh, sometimes these things start to pound on doors there. Close. You might want to wall that one in as well, just to be safe. I don't trust these things anymore. They used to not pound on walls, but now I've uh, I've decided I'm going to wall them out all the time. Yeah, this is this is just wrong. But hey, on the bright side, it makes it much easier to kill all these animals really quickly. I've never really used a water trap to kill these before. Uh, why is Alex going on an insulting spree? Uh, final straw was hungry. Well, damn it. We might be able to stop this, though. The first thing we're going to do with Alex is we're going to skip them. And we're going to skip them way over there. Now, we'll get Smokey over here to help out. And then what we can do is we can skip them again. Nope, nope, let's see. Ooh, there seems good. Oh, actually, wait, no. Get a little bit closer first. What I want to do is skip them into that corner. Why can't we get you into that corner? Fine, you can go to that one. And then we'll wall you in. Nope. There you go. So, you can go insult that corner as much as you want. But uh, we'll let you out once your insulting spree is worn off. And all of these mega slots are dead. Dear lord, they milled around a lot. Once I seem to wall in here, like, I walled in here and here, and this forced them over to this section, so then when I walled in here, they all came over to this side. I need to remember this for future dealings with this. Ooh, the pods have arrived. Ah, uh, yes. Now that, that is a decent amount of plasteel in one hole. And we also have one of our miners returning with a whole bunch more. We've got another 363. That should finish off all the last of the armor we need, at least for now. And, hmm, that legendary assault rifle. And where did that legendary LMG go? Yeah, I think I'm going to start signing them out now. When it comes to assigning out weapons, a good thing to remember is when it comes to the big four, which is your assault rifles, your charge rifles, your LMGs, and your uh, miniguns, Whatever's a legendary will beat out whatever's a masterwork. So if you have a legendary LMG, it beats out a masterwork assault rifle. Uh, best of the pile would probably be a legendary minigun or a, mini a legendary charge rifle. Those are very good. And oh, damn, we got some more plasteel. We've actually been getting it lucky on some of the finds. Okay, that's a bit far away. Plenty of plasteel, but too far away. We have found some uranium over here, which we need for making our armor. Uh, we've also found a, like a patch of plasteel. There's 900, but yeah, we will totally dig that out of the ground. We have the miners to do it as well. And we still have this batch of steel I haven't got around to. And there's some steel in there, but uh, we're not going to drill in there. That That's where, how you get infestations. We don't, we don't want infestations. In here, fine. But in the prisoner room, uh, that's just awkward. All right, next up, we've got... Ah, yes. Lindsay is on their way home with the caravan, and I think it's time we did a drone hack. It's for the next quest up for... where is it? Ah, drone info hack for more info about Knuckles Crusher. Uh, the problem is, that means we're going to get attacked, and probably pretty heavily, and probably twice, which means we're going to need some really high moods to tackle that one. All right, let's accept this quest. Now, at some point, it will land somewhere. Where are you? Jump to location. Uh, that's... Not too far away. That's actually much closer than I was anticipating. We're immediately going to send out our best researcher, though, to tackle it. I think this looks like a good defensive line. Uh, well, okay, except for the tunneler. You know what? We'll, we'll just put the tunneler there. It's fine. Oh, unless they come all the way from the top. I just, like, we were way closer to the right-hand side of the map. Uh, so the thing is, can we rotate everything up in time? What are we dealing with here? 33 humans. Oh my god, they have a doomsday. All right, I thought this was going to be imps for some reason. I have no idea. Maybe that was the last one. One triple. Ooh, one doomsday. Biocoded tox bomb launchers. Okay, okay, that's what we're dealing with. They do have a few close combat people as well, and I'm guessing some of those are going to be carrying tox packs. Hmm. Right. So I'm thinking special abilities, a little bit of berserk pulse maybe. Uh, get rid of the most nasty ones. Once they're down, we uh, chew up the rest with normal firepower. Where are we? All right, and the rest of the team can put together a little defensive line. We have been very rapidly moving everything up here to try and get ourselves another front line, and Lunk is waiting in ambush over here. Uh, we want to get some berserks off on these people, preferably that Doomsday. Hmm. And the Doomsday and the Triple, so long as we take those out, the rest of them should be easier to kill, though I am still worried about the poison gas problem. Okay, you can invisibilize. Perfect. Uh, then we'll go with a quick berserk on you. 
That is nice, and you can probably smack a few of those. Oh, and let me make sure I had some people moving rocks around the place just a little bit, so you guys can get over there, and you can pop in over there. Okay, I think everyone's got their positions sorted. Lunk is still hacking that poor person up. I mean, I, I do want to be angry with them, but at the same time, they're getting in, attacked by an invisible green giant, and they're getting their bits chopped off. Yeah... Oh, uh, they still managed to get away. How? Oh, high on go juice. Hell of a drug. Uh, you are still invisible for another eight seconds. Maybe let's try seeing if we can't get up off another good hit. Uh, we're going to try a berserk pulse this time. Uh, berserk pulse. Uh, right there is... Good. Now, probably time to get out of dodge. I mean, you've done good work, but I think your neural heat is over its limit. Oof. I think a few of them ended up dead. Okay, Doomsday is down. Where is the triple rocket launcher? Okay, triple rocket launcher through. We'll have to be more careful about that triple rocket launcher, though. I don't want to be messing with it. Hey, you. Uh, jump back here. Actually, hmm. No, I don't want to leave them in the fight. The problem is their invisibility is about to run out in a second, and their neural heat is pretty much maxed out. So jump back to here. And yoink. We'll kill what we can that's left over down here, and where did I put that triple? Damn it. We'll just mark that triple so we know when it starts to come in range, and we can do things to it to make it be less of a problem. Okay, they've taken it, most of their enemies. Oh my god, that guy launched a triple into his own people. Did he destroy the doomsday? Ow! Well, never mind. Could have been worse. In that case, I think we let the... Yeah, I think we let the scythers off the leash. Okay, scythers, get to work. Oh. Damn it, yeah, I have to actually assign you to the zone, don't I? <laughs> that would make more sense. All right, your zone is that area over there. And start heading that direction and killing things. A few of you will get caught in the crossfire. That is sacrifices we are willing to make. And they're already broken. Okay, then. That was, uh, I think I, I almost feel like I overprepared just a tiny bit. Okay, Smokey, you've got 526 down. Next attack won't hit for about six hours or so. I think you're actually going to finish that before the next raid shows up. Well, we've got only a tiny little bit of time left on this space drone, so unless they're going to attack us in the next five seconds, I think we are golden. Perfect. Right. Done. Even gives us a little bit of uranium and components. That is... Another one bites the dust. All right, two down. There should be another three to go. Uh, at some point, they'll remember. Oh, I should have the mechs out to play again. Well, good news, bad news. Good news, we've got covert structure hacking. As in the next subquest for getting ourselves a legendary Zeus hammer. Uh, that will be the third one in that quest chain. Uh, bad news, we've got a defoliator ship. Uh, even worse news, there's an Akrapathon in there. <sighs> well, crap. All right, we've got... That's going to give a negative moodlet bonus to everyone, where is it? Yeah, minus two to minus four. Some people are going to have it even worse. Minus seven, depending on what your size sensitivity is. So say someone like Smokey's getting a minus nine. Ow. Okay. So, uh, mortar this into oblivion, lure them all into our, into our kill murder lake. Murder lake was actually a great description in the comments. Welcome them all into our murder lake and then discreetly murder the lot of them. But only after our mining caravan gets back. All right, and then we're probably going to have to do more shopping. What's our, uh, what's this looking like? This will restock in five days. Oh, man, it feels like it's taking forever to find these last few genes. We are so close. But it's fine. We're still waiting on the kids to grow up. The kids are six years, 48 days. I mean, another two or three days of real time, and they should be up to a year. Or up to seven. Okay, caravan has arrived. Uh, perfect. That reminds me, though, change their schedule. I always change them to full work mode when they're at, uh, you know mining away just to stop them from trying to nap on the ground. Sometimes I forget though when I come back until they end up napping on the ground because they're exhausted. I have decided on a bad idea. You see, there's these savage grizzly bears that are around here somewhere. Uh, they would arrive in forced evolution 11 hours after we accept this quest. I wasn't going to take this. I was not bothered. Uh, painlessness and hunger pangs, no thank you, but I mean... This would give us 50 man-hunting grizzly bears versus these mechanoids. I think the mechanoids will win, but it's going to scratch them up quite a bit. So I say we accept this. I just got to figure out who I'm going to give it to. Probably Doc Jeeves. You know what? Let's give it just to Doc Jeeves straight up. Um, where are you? 
All right, Doc Jeeves, in 11 hours that arrives. We're going to close the door out here, though, so that uh, no one, so the bears can't get in. Then we're going to start mortaring this position over here. Now, I don't want to actually kill this. I just want to weaken it up so that when the bears arrive, we can quickly uh, smash that some more so the mechanoids come in. And inbound. How much damage are we going to get to onto this? Okay, the first one knocks it down 17 percentage points. Okay, quest active, beggars wish for resources. Oh, beggars, this is not a good time. Uh, <laughs> they're begging for 700 si silver. You know what? We might even just give it to you, just because I, you're going to end up hanging around the map and getting yourselves killed if I don't. And I mean, not that I'm too worried about it, but uh, it cost us 700 silver. We've, we've got a little bit to spare. Just, just how much to spare? Yeah, we got about... 30,000 to spare. Oh, one interesting thing to note about this Acrapathon. It can resurrect units, uh, but the resurrection cost is not flat. As in, it says it has 30 charges, but it costs, say, 3 charges to resurrect a Lancer, 2 to resurrect a Scyther, I think it's 4 for a Centipede Blaster. So it depends which unit. And it just resurrected this Lancer, which we sort of killed with mortar barrages. Uh, you guys can all go back to work. Go for it. Uh, reason being, we have... Yeah, knock this down to about 17%. One more mortar hit should knock that out and free all of those up. But for now, we're... What are you doing? Oh, you're going to attack these poor... Well, it's their own fault. I kind of tried to warn them. Oh, wow. You're not even going to fight back? Travelers betrayed. I didn't betray them. Ugh. Well, never mind. They'll go probably over here and go for this trade caravan, but I'm kind of fine with that. Right, let's wait for the bears to arrive. Once the bears show up, things are going to get, um, interesting. Any second now. Any second now they're going to show up. Come on, it's 11 hours. You said 11 hours after I accept the bears are going to show up. And they're all the way over here. Uh, that's probably fine. Uh, let's play this forward a bit and see where they're headed. Are they headed straight down? I think they are headed straight down. Does that mean we don't need to mortar the... Oh, maybe they're not. Hmm. Let me keep an eye on this. Never mind. You guys can go go back to work. Let's, uh... Let's, let's, let's watch some bears fight with some robots. And up next we have... 50 grizzly bears versus... 19 centipedes with blasters, one acrapathon, uh, three scythers, five lancers. Uh, I got... Mm, they've no fire, so I'm actually pretty hopeful for the bears. It's just that once they start locking down centipedes and getting in close combat and cutting down their firepower, that really slows them down. The scythers are going to cause a bit of a mess at first. But yeah, now, now that they're in close, friendly fire, lots of scrubbings, this could go quite well for us. Uh, the Acrapathon is currently trying to resurrect stuff like crazy. Oh my god, it's down to 18 charges already. Oh. The bears are down to 35. Oh. Acrapathon is down to 12 charges. Oh, damn. Okay, I was way off. The bears are not doing it. There's 22 of them left and there's way too many. And done. Wow. Wow. Okay then, so uh, we're going to have to open up our kill box and get ready for the... What are you doing outside? I could... Oh, I didn't restrict the mechs. Get back in. Uh, I need to open that front door before the travellers leave. Uh, basically, these are the only thing that's stopping these things from smashing into our walls. Bizarrely enough, the yeah, Acrapathon's running out front. I mean, okay, it came in with a Lancer, but... Uh, great, you just bounced off the shield, buddy. That's... Also hit the shield. Okay, still another terrible shot. Also stunned ours. Uh, oh, damn it, that's going to make them bunch up even more. Well, you know what? Who cares? That actually worked out reasonably okay for us. We got to get rid of the Acrapathon first. Oh, I need to get my hands on that chip. Lunk, do us a favor. Uh... Skip that sucker all the way over there. We want to get that out of the line of sight. We don't want that getting killed by accident, you know what I mean? That would be an embarrassment. Those things are actually pretty expensive. 
Yeah, barring that, I think the rest of them are going to dribble in nice and slow and we can kill them off. And on the bright side, all of those bears ended up all over there, so we don't even have to care about the toxic waste from those. I mean, the toxic gases. We can wait until they've all uh, dissipated. In fact, are any of those worth capturing? I mean, my god, there's not even a single healthy corpse we could grab. That is a pretty unlucky blob. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, Lunk. Why don't you give us a quick skip there? Ah, oh, Christ. What? What is wrong with you? Why are you doing it right there? All right, you. I'm going to skip you into right there. Uh, Lunk, maybe moving a little bit closer. Oop, my bad. Dead. And another one's about to die. And that's two more that should be dead short. Oh, here's another one, and you can go in there. Now, yeah, where's Smokey? <laughs> this skipping them into just close combat is just incredibly fast at mur murdering centipedes. I don't think I've ever killed centipedes this fast before in any kill box I've ever had. Uh, true, it feels totally broken, but oh, I think we may have just uh, overloaded our kill box just a tad. Okay, well, we are. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. And we'll grab that one while we're here, too. Come on, one more. Is someone at a skip juice? Come on, put him right there. And okay, grab say, that one and put them right there. Oh, I'm missing someone. Where is it? Smokey, you should have. Wow, you're almost at a neural heat as well. The amount of neural heat we're missing is kind of crazy. Uh, do us a favor, though. Damn it, that lancer there is kind of annoying me. We need some way of getting rid of it, and I don't want to leave cover. Couple of quick skips, and that should solve that problem pretty fast. All right. Uh, dead, 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 dead. I don't think there's really... What? We'll just speed things along a little bit. You can go there. You can go there. <laughs> It's just the speed at which they kill everything that's crazy. I've normally centipedes pile up in your kill box and you're there. Oh, you can't reach. Fine, Lunk. Eh. If I had this all to do over all over again, I think the lake would be slightly differently shaped or our murder lake. Uh, you grab that one, throw it in there. And done. How are they managing to stop on the corners there? It's really frustrating. I might want to put down... Some other way of forcing them out of there. Hey, we got one, two, three, four. Is that it? Oh, we got a couple coming up the rear. We'll, we'll go take a team and take them out in the field. Up. And immediately your shield pops. Can we teleport those things is the question. I'm not sure. Oh, they too large. You can't teleport centurions. You just have to shoot them down. But considering the strength of their shield, it doesn't seem to be much of a problem. These last two are pretty weak sauce at the moment. Uh, I, I'm not even sure that, uh, whatchamacallit thing at the back, could break someone's shields given even enough time. Now you are at some point going to realize you're getting attacked. And uh, no, never mind. So we'll just run the Lunk family in, and Lunk family can make mincemeat of that thing. Done. E hey, geek. Get in here. Done. Problem solved. Uh, you three, get back to base. That uh, was actually a really solid defense. Something to be said for having loads of armor and a whole bunch of close combat scythers and just almost unlimited amounts of skip. Hey, it's growth moment time. Amy's up first, but it's going to be basically all of them. I should probably get them started right now. Uh, actually, I kind of want this... No, I'll let this finish. I want the uh, the linking ritual to be complete. Shack of goodies? Ooh, vanometric power cell. Are you... I mean, I wouldn't be against having one of them. Ooh. I think, I think someone's going on an expedition. All right, linking ritual complete. Let's see what Amy's got going on for her. Uh, I should probably check my notes to see what we should be giving her. My notes tell me cooking, medical, animal, social. They're chewy spawn, so they're going to want to do a lot of cooking and stuff. Uh, we can get cooking social animals. We can't get the medical, but that's all right. This is actually pretty good. Getting three out of three of the targets we're going for is really good for a first round. And a movement speed bonus. Nothing else really appears to me there. That appeals to me. That global work speed bonus is wonderful, but it's the the mental break threshold I don't like. I figure we'll just go with Jogger. Jogger never hurts anyone. Also, their animals are already really high skill. Damn. Oh, they've already got a trait in that, haven't they? Great animals. Okay, so maxed out animals already at this time in life. That's uh, that's pretty good. Oh, wait. 
Next up, we should have one of the other, like Vafel. All of them are already maxed out on growth tier 8, so we should be able to get all of them really quickly. Jason. Yeah. Oh, Jason is all the way down in this end. They're supposed to be crafting, construction, art, and intellectual. Well, hmm. This is a thing of beauty. They're supposed to be our, uh, our dedicated crafter, or our engineering specialist, and they've got offered industrious first spin and quick sleeper. Either of those are amazingly good for productivity. This one because you don't sleep as much, but this one even more so because you just build stuff 35% faster. That's all oh, beautiful. And we've already got crafting and construction. Point in each one of those, I am I am happy at. Even if a whole bunch of their next rolls are terrible, this is amazing. Melee skill bonus. I was gonna give them a bit of medical, but you know what? It doesn't matter. This is all good. This is this is perfect. Now we just got three more to go. Next up, we've got Zencon and Duck Jeeves. Uh, Duck Jeeves is going to be our trader, so let's see what Duck Jeeves has got going on. Hopefully it's something good. What we really wanted for these was social, intellectual, crafting, and art. We got social, we missed out on intellectual, but we did get crafting. I mean, the crafting art is not really that important, to be honest. In fact, I may want to reskill these at some point, but uh, the, as a trader, they're not really going to have much use for anything else. In fact, we could probably take out crafting and just chuck that into melee. And yeah, to keep them alive longer on the road. Now, for these ones down here, we had a few choices, but we're not going to be turning them into a close combat specialist, so that kind of was that off the table. Kind is never bad, but body modder? Oh, hell yeah. That means they're just going to have so much more morale on them. Once we chuck on a few bionics, that is. In fact, if we check out Tiberius here, Tiberius got the body modder. And then we gave them a bionic eye, a bionic ear, two drill arms, two legs. That's a plus 13 mood constantly, just for having all of those parts on them, which completely counteracts the neurotic plus 8% break threshold. They're actually harder to break than a standard pawn just because of that. Delicious. Now that just leaves us with one more. Zircon. Now they're supposed to be a miner. And mining... Oh, mining has already... Come. How has your mining already got a trade in it? Oh, we crossbred you with one of those mole people. Right. Okay, so you've already got mining maxed out. That's pretty good. Hard worker? Ooh. Ooh, 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 mining and intellectual. I'll take. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything else we were looking for. We'll we'll throw in melee. This is terrible on them. They have weak melee damage, so we'd have to splice on something to counteract that. We may have to in the end, but uh, we're gonna throw in hard worker plus twenty percent global work speed. Hell yeah! On a miner, that that once we chuck on a couple of drill arms on top of that, that's going to be excellent. And I think that leaves just one kid. That did leave just one kid. We've got Valuffel. Valuffel. Uh, they are Lunk's kid. Please tell me you got something good for killing. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, they got psychically sensitive. Eh, hmm, let me think. Well, this is horrifyingly bad. They're supposed to get melee, animals, plants, construction. Uh, none of those have shown up. Like, no melee, no animals, no plants, no construction. Literally none of the things they wanted. I figure intellectual and medical, they'll work on anyone. You can at least throw them into science if needs be. But they're never going to be mining, cooking, or artistic. So. Is shooting, and we shouldn't be using them for shooting anyway. I mean, look here. You've got poor shooting, poor cooking, poor... <laughs> oh, they've even got poor intellectual. This is, uh... Oh, wow, this is just bad. This is, is really bad. At least they've got strong melee damage and robust. Now, if only they could get, like, some melee skills. Oh, well, and psychically sensitive, because the only way they're going to make up for these negatives is with some, you know, psychic abilities. That's pretty much all you got going on for your kids. Sorry, this is just... Ouch. Pure ouch. Here's something I didn't know existed. Oh, what's that? Has a bear started? Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to go kill that bear. But, um, over here, you can eject gene packs, but you can eject duplicates. There, it just ejected all the duplicate gene packs and freed up space. And I double checked, all of these are actually duplicates of stuff I have in there. So I've got cold weakness and unhappy separately, but you know, I, I don't need these. Uh, eject gene packs, Let's go with cosmetic. No cosmetic gene packs. Uh, fine, but that saves me a bunch of... I was trawling through and doing that manually like a savage. Now, excuse me while I get someone to go kill that bear. For our next quest, I was thinking of not the shack of goodies. Thing is, this vatometric power cell gives you 400 watts of power, which is the equivalent of one of these unstable power cells. This used to be very valuable with the original game, but uh, with the expansions and all that, this just feels weak sauce now. Um... I mean, it might be nice, but I think we have better things to be doing, like this one, the subquest, Covert Structure Hacking. This requires eight colonists. Uh, we get a shuttle ride there, we get a shuttle ride back. Shuttle departs in one day, terminals hack 05. 
we have to hack five terminals, so I should probably make sure I bring at least a couple of people with good science while I'm at it. So, for this team, we're taking the Lunk Line, the Smoky Line, and a couple of the Daemons. Uh, we should have a decent amount of fighting capacity in it. If we get attacked while they're away, that could be problematic, so we've made sure to that the people we're bringing have shuttle capacity so we can fly back away, and fire skip capacity. We're definitely coming back home one way or the other, wherever we're going. Okay, generating new map. Oh. Yeah, what do we got here? Okay, that's... Wow, we're going to have to go the long way around for that. It might just be faster to smash through the walls. Let me see here. All right, let's get everyone unloaded and in here as quick as possible. Walking around all of that just felt like a waste of time. I think it's actually just faster for us to smash our way through the walls here. And done. Right, let's get the team in position. Uh, we can smash in the back walls. Actually, we'll smash in over here. That way it gives us multiple vectors of entry. We just need to find five terminals, hack them, and get out of there. But we should probably explore first, figure out where all the baddies are, and make sure we can pull back to a defensible location. I'm pretty sure this is going to get nasty one way or the other. First up, we have this nice room here. It has a hermetically sealed crate. Also, one ancient terminal. Uh, perfect. Let's start exploring, shall we? Lunk, uh, go open that door, and then open that door. Ah, more hermetically sealed crates. Nothing horrifying just yet, and... Come on, Randy. Nope. Still nothing horrifying. And... Wow, not even a... Like, there's nothing in these that's incredibly dangerous yet. I'm kind of confused. Okay, let's... Uh, Lunk, you're going to be the one exploring. You've got invisibility, so if things go horrifically wrong, you can just uh, use that to your advantage. That is a security crate. I take it if we open that, it'll actually activate some baddies somewhere around here. Uh, also another hermetically sealed crate. Dear Lord. <laughs> well, at least Lunk is fast. Movement speed 7.40 right now. Nothing in there. Oh. Infestation. Well, that's, um... Awkward. Tell you what, try opening that door. That's an unstable fuel cell. Run back out here. I want you to... Hmm. Go to there. Yeah, going to there is our best bet, I think. What we want to do is find someplace defensible. Actually, it might be better to go over here. Yeah. Everyone get in this section. Lunk, fall back to there. Oh. I may have accidentally set that off. That's a problem. Uh, I don't want this entire place turned into an inferno. So put one wall there, put another wall there. Nope, 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 nope. Put that wall there first. And I probably should have given myself a better line of sight to do that, shouldn't I? And put the second wall there, if you wouldn't mind. Nice. Then run over there. And explosion contained. Right. Uh, this just helps prevent the whole place exploding. Anyway, Pepper Seal, you can get up to their door. Yeah, I don't like that door. Kill the door. And you can get a little bit closer. And that gets everyone in location? Yeah, in fact... Actually, I'll put the LMG right there. Charge rifles can go a little bit further forward. And here they come. Oh, wow. 14 mega spiders. Well, this is not going to be too simple. It right there should be fine. Oh, come on! How did they dodge that? Where are they going? What are they doing? What the? I'm confused. Uh, are they actually trying to come after us, or are they just... Okay, they seem like chaotic neutral. That just makes me afraid to leave here now. Uh, in that case, Cowger, why don't you go open that security crate? Actually, yeah, go for it. That might cause some nasties to show up, and that might... Right, caused another infestation. That's, um... That honestly was not what I was hoping for. Oh, well. So, we've managed to get some fuel and a skill trainer for animals. Why don't you pick that up, put that in your inventory, we'll carry that with us. These guys don't seem to want to attack us. 
That's weird. I presume it's a quest thing, so we have to figure out what we're going to do from here on in. I think we're going to have to just lure them out and kill them or activate something else to cause them problems. Uh, so no more hiding in here, afraid. Okay, let me think. Up here. We'll head up here, get a little bit away from them. We'll kill anything we encounter along the way, but we're not going to go picking fights. Go. Get through the doors. We're being chased. All right. While this crowd is holding the line, uh, Lunk, why don't you go and do us a little bit of exploring here? Okay, so we can have a better idea of what's going to be coming at us and when. Christ. Okay. Go here. Dead. Dead. Okay, we can slowly grind these down. This is just incredibly frustrating. Yeah, they seem to be popping back in here occasionally, but there is so many of them. There's like still 22 mega spiders on the map. If they actually seriously got it together and tried to attack us, that could actually be problematic for us. I think we've broken the back of the attack. They've got about six mega spiders still standing. The rest are all unconscious somewhere. There may be a few hidden off in some side rooms, but I say we go take it room by room and take claim what we need. We can hold positions, it seems, and we just need some sciency people to break stuff. How are you doing on the health front? So we got a few scratches here and there, but no real serious injuries yet. Fingers crossed. We're going to have Smokey start hacking that terminal, and we're going to have Alex here starts going around opening containers. Uranium. Don't need uranium. Oh, and we should probably hold those doors. Lunk, uh, you hold that door there. Paprasil, you can hold that one, and EP Geek, you can't go there. Keep everyone else in the middle to get some shooting on. And fuel. Yeah, I, I'm still not seeing the reason to open all these hermetically sealed crates in general. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Yep. Yeah. More incendiary stuff. So... Whew. No, we can't do anything about that, can we? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Can't skip them either. Can't wall it in. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and destroy that ancient barrel. One more hit. Then, do that. Oof. And then get out of there. Now, let's set fires to some of the place. Oh! Mega spider. Okay. Then we'll get everyone in here who's not really fire fearful. And they can go put that out real quick before this whole place turns into an incinerated area. It's just the problem with this is these rooms will suddenly get real hot real quick. In fact, what's the temperature in there? It's already 92C. Hmm. You guys, uh, could you do me a favor? Shoot at that wall. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There you go. Perfection. And then we'll get the rest of them to just start putting out the fires. We should be fine from here on in. And uh, we'll get a few bugs showing up, but I have faith in our close combat people to take care of the problem. Well, good days, good days. Pick up the package survival meals. Yeah, what? Oh no, you can't. You're actually overburdened. How are you overburdened already? Never mind. Let's just keep going. We've managed to clear out several of the bugs. Oh, bunches of them are still asleep. We should probably kill everything before we leave, though. Uh, suppose next step is to go over here and start seeing what else is left in this place. Lunk? Yeah, this is all you, buddy. Let's have a quick explore. That is... perfection. What the hell is that ancient machine? Okay. And one final thing in here. Go open that hermetically sealed crate, then open that one. Where is the ancient terminal? Oh, there's one right here. In that case, Smokey, that's all you. That will be our second one down, and I think... Yeah, people are probably getting into major risk ter break territory. If you geek, I want you to... Oh, you actually... Why are you so unhappy? How did your husband die? That makes no sense. You can't have a husband. Your father's lunk. You you were literally birthed in the colony, that grown, up to three. You've never left the colony. You can't have a husband. That's not that's not a thing that could have happened at any point. Tarth Varath what what No That's impossible How? Look, have a beer. Um just have a beer and relax. We're going to start hacking things. Uh, where are you going? Moving. 
No. Get in there and open that hermetically sealed crate. And uh, we'll get our next best uh, hacker on this terminal. Normally, I avoid giving my pawns uh, smoke leaf like the plague. The reason being, it just, it reduces their consciousness quite substantially. We don't really have much of a choice in that right now. Ooh, I disturbed an ancient fuel cell. I don't care? Yeah, I'm going to go what I don't care about disturbing that one. Oh, great, more ancient terminals. And an ancient enemy terminal. I'm not sure what that means. All right, uh... Who was I supposed to, who was supposed to be hacking that? We're also going to open another security gate. Why? Because I'm feeling that way. Um, five advanced components. That's actually good. Stick that in your inventory. We're going to want to take those with us. Uh, anything else left over? You know what? I think we're just going to go kill all the bugs. From what I've seen, we've explored everything but this bottom corner down here. And if we just kill the bugs, there's nothing left to attack us. Well, assuming these ancient terminals don't cause anything else to come after us. So let's go down and maybe kill the last of them. Wakey, wakey. Oh, this got awkward quickly. Uh, there you go. Want to kill some of your own people? That would be nice. And, oh, looks like that thing exploded. And we've got more bugs. Well, yeah, it was bound to happen. All right, you, uh, get in there and hack that ancient terminal. Alex, get in there and hack that enemy terminal. Terminal. You know what? Don't. Don't don't hack that. We don't need any more enemies showing up right about now. We'll just stick with normal killings. That means we have one terminal left. That one. Damn it. Okay, so let's get some clearage going on. I say we break down to here. Oh. You too many than more than I would like. Lunk, give us another berserk pulse here. Right there should be fine. Perfect. Now, would you fight amongst each other? And uh, nice. Okay. This is turning out to be rather tougher than I was anticipating. Everyone down here, quickly. Uh, Smokey, you're finishing up at that terminal. That is good. Uh, you, attack that doorway. In fact, you can all attack that doorway. I think it's time everyone took a beer, maybe a snack. Holy Christ. Okay, and maybe slaughter all the damned bugs. We want to make sure there's not a single living thing on this map. Hopefully we can take everything with us. I'd like to grab all that insect jelly. I mean, no, need it, but it would be nice. Considering the amount of killing we had to do here, I am... I think we deserve to take everything with us we can. Guys, uh, maybe napping is not probably the best idea. That will give you more negatives than is worth. Uh, Smokey's just finishing hacking that last terminal, and once they're done, I think we are out of here. Oh, any other things that need, uh, opening? That... Let's see what's in that hermetically sealed crate, shall we? And it's some more uranium. Wow. I should have left it closed. I should have left it closed. I should have left it closed. But I didn't, did I? I decided to leave it open. Lunk. Uh. Yeah, quickly, quickly, quickly. There's a couple coming up the rear we'd like to deal with as well. Uh, that means there's two of them. Raid from the Night Vampires. Well, that's wonderful timing. I kind of want to kill them all. You know what? That's just, I'm, I'm feeling in that sort of mood. Plus, the shuttle's right there. Or we could just fire skip home. I'm not sure which I want. I say we take the lot of them, break them all, kill them all, and do it over here. We actually have a nice choke point, and I figure they're going to have to bunch up. And if we're invisible and we've got Berserk Pulse, we could make it very, very messy for them. Uh, you guys can finish off whatever's in there. Oh, actually, EP Geek, you are... You're bleeding out in 22 hours. Uh, Smokey, do us a favor, would you? Would you coagulate their wounds? I don't want them bleeding out. Actually, never mind, we'll have Lunk do it. Lunk can move faster so he can catch back up at Smokey before he gets to the gets to the pass. That's nice. When we defeated the last insect hive, we got actually a bonus to our morale. That's actually useful. All right, especially considering how... Rough it is at the moment. Oh, yeah, there is... Oh, God. There's more of them. Fine. Everyone come over here quick. And where's the rest of these? Okay, they're coming in that direction. Okay, so Lunk is on the way. Smokey is on the way. We got this. We can do some serious damage. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, they definitely. Yeah, so I say we berserk the first guy. 
are all going to try and kill him. And if someone loves a doomsday item, that would be even more hilarious. Okay. Uh, doomsday's down. That is actually perfection. Uh, Lunk is here. Smokey is here. You invisibilize them. Perfect. Now they can do some nasty damage here. One second. Yeah, that's fine. Right there is good. Uh, Berserk Pulse. Yes, please. Right there, if you wouldn't mind. Come on. Okay, now. That is possibly one of the more evil things I've done. Uh, a bunch of them do have grenades and stuff, so let's maybe run away now. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Uh, Smokey may be good into cover, at least. Let them murder each other over there. Uh, we'll get the rest of the team to help out as well. You guys can all show up, and if any of them do survive this murderage of each other, please don't destroy the, uh, the Doomsday Rocket Launcher, though. I would really like to get keep that. Uh, are they finished? Oh, wow, they are actually finished already. In that case, more Berserk. Perfect, go kill each other. Uh, hmm. Damn it, this is not working out nearly as well as I was hoping. There's still far more alive than I would like. Uh, thinking more invisibility and more hacky from, uh, Lunk is on the cards. Perfect. Uh, Berserk Pulse. Right there. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. And uh, where's the rest of the team? All right. Get over here real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Lunk, how you doing over there, buddy? Still invisible, still murdering people. I think? Come on, how have they not broken? Okay, there we go, finally. Oh, well, that was an interesting time. Now we just have to see if we can load everything into the shuttle. Uh, ah. I think they have to be off the map before we can do that. Hey, don't destroy my doomsday. I want that. After all the enemies have run off the map, we can finally get out of here. Uh, and at the same time, we can bring with us all that insect jelly. Nice. While we were here, we managed to grab 593 insect jelly, some survival meals, chem fuel, medicine, smoke leaf transiaeo, wake up, and uranium. I even threw in some corpses from the insects. We can't take too many of them with us, but we can grab uh, nine of the mega spiders and we can turn all of those into... No, wait, does that mean... Oh. Are they going to have to manually go around and do all of that? Oh, never mind, we're off. That was magical. Uh, everyone flies back home. That was mildly nerve-wracking. I was a little bit nervous there when all those bugs came out, but it all held up. Now we just go fly back home and take our spoils. And yeah, someone might want to grab those uh, bugs when they plop out. That insect jelly is worth a fortune. All right, quest-wise, how did that work out? All right, we've got three down, two to go. I really want to get the second uh, Zeus hammer. The so first one was a bit weak sauce with its mad wailing, but... Hopefully the second one will be a little bit better. The quest worked out really good though. It was dangerous, but we did get a whole bunch of chem fuel out of it just for free. That's 10 batches, that's 350 chem fuel. I'm not even sure it's worth it. Oh, and our plasteel reserves have actually gone over capacity. What the? How much plasteel have I been collecting? Uh, oh yeah, I've got this drill over here. There was like about 900 plasteel in there that may have driven us slightly over the edge. You know what, we'll make this uh, for excess storage over here. Ooh, would you look at that? Quest for village computer. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah info about the Knuckles Crusher. We will accept. Jump to Worshipful Village. Lunk! Where are you, buddy? Okay, you are sewing area. No, you are hopping into a pod. You are going to do a quick mission for us. All right, Lunk, you ready? Good job. All right, we're going to launch it. Uh, straight in, drop in the center. Why change the, the why change the strategy we've been using for a while now? Lunk smashes through the roof. And in we go. Now, ooh, only one entrance. That is perfect. Okay, first we'll pick up our supplies. We're going to need all of this. And then we're going to get inside here. I think what we'll do is we'll berserk someone outside, wait until they all go outside, then wall ourselves in. Then we can smash a wall of whichever one we deserve, prefer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Quick, 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 quick. Um.
Perfect. That's fine by me. In that case, mm, mm. let's hack that ancient terminal, shall we? Exit. Now we need to get out of here. Mm. Fastest way is through the wall, I think. Let's see who's quicker. Come on. Oh, that guy's managed to knock that down. That's fine, actually. Yep, yeah, run. And jump. Bye-bye. Oh, did he just, like, slash that guy while jumping backwards? He totally did. He's flying backwards through the air after slashing that guy. Style points. Absolute style points on that one. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Uh, we'll just run off the map and head home. Uh, thank you for allowing you, us to visit your terminal. It was beautiful. Yeah, go back to worshipping at unit jobs. And that's one more quest down. Uh, that means four... Yeah, one more. We just need one more and we can get ourselves another hammer. We have just been hit by a psychic drone high female. Good thing about it is Smokey's just got into uh, death rest. So they can just sleep it off, basically. Ooh, that was uh, kind of nice. I suppose that they appear to have changed how these toxic waste pack things worked. It used to be I could go to here and it only annoy them, and then if you went further away, it would stop annoying them altogether, but it seems like you can't get away from annoying someone now. Wherever you seem to drop it, someone seems to get annoyed. Uh, we are going to be expecting more attack from them, I presume. But uh, it just is a, a nice little change. It means there is no way to get rid of it. Ah, we found a gold pile. That is good. I've been meaning to pick one of those up. We're starting to run a little bit short. Give me... What, where is it? Oh, God, that's miles away. Never mind. Ooh. Trading. Hey, Kager, what you get me? Give me some good genetics. You got elongated fingers. Now, already got it. Since Randy was feeling generous, he decided to stick down a lump of very valuable gold right here, right on our solar panels. So I've destroyed a couple of blocks here so that we can show some in. Well, just throw in the drill. This drill should allow us, uh, should allow us to actually harvest that section right there. Uh, we just have to hope we don't get an insect infestation, which means we're probably 100% going to get an infest in insect infestation. Oh, and since uh, there's a heat wave going on right now, I should probably yeah, turn off automatic refueling for those. And why do I have these things on all the time? I am possibly the laziest person in turning these on and off. Oh, and more animatory linking, which means EP Geek. Which is another thing. How did you... Wait, who lost the husband? Oh, great. Uh, we got a silent level gain, but we also got this quest, Callie's Nomads. Basically, eight desperate re refugees are approaching, consisting of Callie and seven children. <laughs> oh, I mean, come on. Like, you want me to turn away seven kids? That's... Mm. Why do I have a strange feeling they're going to stab us in the back and I'm going to have to kill a bunch of children? Whatever. We'll see what happens. Uh, where are you all going? You are holding Ambrosia. You know what? Yeah, good. We'll put you on the same schedule as everyone else. Though I should probably make eight beds. That was it. Yeah, I'm going to need eight beds for these, aren't I? All right. When they inevitably betray us, it's going to be child homicide all around. So at first, I was I was thinking this one, Callie. They're, they're an amazing person. This guy has taken in seven kids. Like, that's, that's incredible. Very selfless. They're also a drug addict. So they're a drug addict that's taken in seven kids with a psychite addiction. Also, they've been doing alcohol, ambrosia. Yeah, I... Uh... Oh, and they're carrying around a bunch of yayo with them. Hmm. Yes, yes. Um, I think it would be in my best interest to actually, you know, kill them all. That would probably be a better thing, but I'm not going to do that. No. They would make wonderful genetic experiments. I think they're all humans. Are they all baseliners? Because we could just paste some genes onto that. No. No, no, no. 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 But we can find humans somewhere else for our, our genetic stuff. We're, we're no rush. No rush. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? It's a predictable too deep infestation at the one place I definitely, definitely, definitely didn't want it. Um, hmm. Randy, you're just so predictable. Predictable. Now, right now, Lunk is actually down for a nap. Smokey could be awoken, but you know what? Ah, let him death rest. I think we'll just get the rest of the team down over here. I think the kids can take care of this mess. What I would like to try and do is they seem to be completely bunched up here. We might be able to get off like a berserk pulse and just turn them all insane instantly. 
Yeah, that might be... Hmm. Oh, yeah. We're still gonna lose the solar panel, though. Just due to friendly fire. No, it could have went an awful lot worse. What are you doing, kid? Uh, no. Let's, let's not go in there just yet. Come on. No one else. And then there's just, yeah, a couple of bugs left. Boom. Okay, now you can go in and clean the building rubble. Just, you know, normally wait until the, the giant mechanoid killing machines are dead. Then go in and clean the place up. Just, you know, for future reference, kid. You might live a little bit longer out here. Oh, wow. Doc Jeeves is finishing off the, the mega scarabs. Or the mega insects. That's, uh... Pretty good for a kid your age. Got to admit, I'm not supposed to get a four in, four in melee already. Well, uh, your heat stroke's also a little bit initial. Uh, is that heat wave going to end soon? That would be really nice. Indoors, it's how is it? How is it hotter indoors? Oh wait, we got fireplaces. Oh come on, I've got down like five passive coolers in there and another two for the prisoners, and it's still way too hot. Kelly's nomads are about halfway through. I think it's about halfway. Is it? Two-thirds of the way through, there's a chance for them to, to suddenly go feral and try and kill you. I don't know. Normally, the only way you know for sure is someone else offers you a prize to kill them. I'm not sure I wanted... Ooh. Kind instinct. I'm pretty sure we already got that one. Yeah, we got that one in spades. Doesn't matter. I expanded our storage a little bit. It's, it's insane how big our gene bank has gotten. We don't have everything yet, but we're getting there just slowly but surely. Just six more to go and we'll have everything we need. And I think the kids... What's Amy at? Okay, you're almost eight. Uh, a couple more years, they'll hit ten, and then three... Yeah, okay, we, we got this, we got this. What the... Bard started social fighting with Tiberius. Bard, you're twelve. Tiberius is seventeen. I mean... I know and all that, but still, what the hell? Okay, Cowgirl's close by. Hopefully Cowgirl can get to you guys before, you know, a head gets crushed or an arm gets removed. Otherwise, I think all the other kids are about to get, you know, super nasty about this. Uh, let's do a little bit of a skippy. Yeah, you can go all the way over there. And Tiberius, you should know better. Just a kid, chief. Like, get over there. That is dumb. Dumb, 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 and dumb. Right, uh... Damn it, I need to shove someone in a corner. Probably the kid. The kid can go in a corner. Fortunately, we are... Also running out of Psy Focus. Uh, normally I'm using Smokey for this type of thing. Smokey, where are you? Get over here, buddy. Gonna need your uh, your larger Psy Focus pool. Okay, okay. Stop punching the children! Dear Lord! You can't go around doing that. Okay, you. Get in there. And then you do that. Perfect! Now what are you gonna do, huh? You gonna get all... Yeah, that's what I thought. You're going to walk away now that you can't fight each other. Excuse me while I smash open the wall. Uh, what's your health at? Okay, no serious damage, thankfully. Whew. Dear Lord, I thought we were about to like mess up the... Uh, and now, just for Randy's uh, pleasure, I'm sure he'll have them turned against us, and I would have been just been better off beating them into unconsciousness. One of the kids wants to join us, but... Uh, no? Uh, well, actually, we'll jump to their occasion, we'll have a quick look at their stats and decide no. Yes, yeah, sorry, kid. You're just not going to make the grade. None of you are. We have... We have things we are doing. I don't know. Where was it? Was it EP Geek? Weren't you the one who lost a husband or something? Weird. I could have sworn you had a massive negative from someone dying to you. You know what? Maybe I was imagining. You may have to go back and check the footage. No. Oh, yeah, insect meat is gone. All right. Next up, I've called in three trade caravans, and I think it's time that Cowger went on another trade run. Are we looking on the gold front? Yep, slowly but surely digging their way through that. I'm sure we can get another infestation out of that S-section. We are also mining out all the uranium over here, and we're even mining out some steel in this section. I may have to move that mine to the other side. I really don't want to, but I think we're probably going to have to. Oh well. Now, one of the big bottlenecks we've been hitting right now is basically producing lots of high-quality armor and, well, clothing and stuff like that. It's effectively all been on Ryan. Ryan is one of those outside hires we got in. They're a, they're a genie. So I think it's time CM Dark got up to speed. So first off, what we're going to do is, well, we're going to have a little ceremony for them and turn them into a crafting specialist. Though I think we'll have to wait till morning. Hmm. Yeah, so first thing in the morning, they get turned into a crafting specialist. Then we've made a custom gene pack to maybe help them out a little bit. Oh, caravan meeting. Who exited his empire? Maybe you guys have something good. 
nope, no genetics we want at all. The downsides of becoming a production specialist is, well, they lose access to a bunch of skills, namely mining, cooking, plants, animals. Uh, they're all gone, plus they can't do any dumb labor like hauling or stuff like that. But we don't care. Not even a little bit. Oh, this should give everyone a plus two mood bonus, I think. Okay, come on. Uh, successful roll change. I think everyone gets a little bit of a mood bonus because we have uh, the hammer around here somewhere. No, that's the wrong person. The only person who's not of our religion. Ah, Lud's hammer at relic ritual. Perfect, plus two. Now, that means that CM Dark over here will now get a plus one, but to all of their crafting qualities. However, crafting skill-wise, they're not at the 20 we require. But we do have a little something-something here in storage. This, it's going to make them, well, it's going to give them cold and heat weakness because we need some stuff. Low sleep means their sleep, they don't need to sleep nearly as much. They're fire resistant, robust, they're already unattractive. Awful mining, awful cooking, awful plants, but great crafting and awful social. This should make them pretty decent at crafting. Like they'll put them up to, oh, 26. I mean, they can't actually get to 26, but you know what I mean. They should have no problems casting at crafting anything amazing. We'll just have to order that implantation. Oh, wow, we totally could have chucked on a whole bunch more. Uh, they actually have a food consumption multiplier of 60%. We could actually throw on four more genetics on top of that. No, 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 it's fine. This is plenty good. We're going to have to do some massive uh, upgrades to them later, but for now, I think this is grand. And you, just uh, go go lie in bed. You're going to need to go into a xenogenic coma after this. And I then have to make sure that none of the kids are assigned out to doctoring. Jesus Christ, guys. I had to take them off cooking, and uh, they were trying to craft drugs as well. I'm like, just get out of there. Some of them were even trying to do mining. I mean, I get that they want to be helpful, but at the same time, hey, Hey, stop filtering up the temple. Little puppets. All right, CM Dark is getting their upgrades now. The thing is, they had great mining. We're about to make it awful mining, which reverses it and gives us, oh, I don't know, a whole bunch more. That, yeah, that leaves them at 60% hunger, but more importantly, crafting is now at 20 plus. Excellent. I think it's time they started helping out with the whole crafting of cataphract helmets and phoenix armor. Oh, well, this is odd. The whole Kali's Nomad quest. No one's offered me a bunch of stuff to kill them. Normally someone offers you stuff to betray them, or they just go through without incident and they... Mm. Strange. Either they betray you or someone orders... Oh. I'm finding this very unusual. Eh. Uh, exotic goods trader has arrived. We've already summoned three of them, so at some point they'll arrive. I two more will arrive. And Callie thanks you for letting them to stay. Okay, you better give me something nice, and if you don't, I'll probably actually just be mildly annoyed. I'm going to have to go out and actually hunt down some fresh animals as well. Hmm. It's raining, and there's some boomalopes. Yeah, I think we can grab a few of those. Well, well, well. Randy has given us the final quest for the Knuckle Crusher. Okay, Knuckles Crusher is going to be require 16 colonists. Oh my god, it's another shuttle mission, but this time we require 16 colonists. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... We're going to need to send along one of the kids if we accept that. Ah, oh, I don't want to, like... Mm -mm. No, I'm not saying... It'll eat into their... education, and I really don't want to do that. Plus, you know, arming children and all that. I think we're just going to fail this quest. We are, are just going to fail it. Uh, yep, yeah, go for it. You'll send down the shuttle. We are not going to get on. Yep, yeah, it's going to depart in 24 hours, and we're not going to care. Or... Maybe I'm going to care just a little bit. I feel like... Uh, like that is the last quest in the chain. It's it's the fifth one. We do that, we get the hammer. I mean, we could just bring along one or two of the kids, just put them back in the shuttle straight away, and then the other, you know, 14 people can go and take care of it. We'll be bringing everyone. Anything goes wrong, slightest sign of da danger, we go and we, we fire skip out. We'll have, we'll have everyone there, so there'll be multiples of fire skip available for us to use. But that's going to have to wait till the next episode. I've, I've already gone over time again. I don't know how, like, where the time goes. But, uh, yeah, no genetic luck this week. It's like, where is the last of the genes? It's like some of them are almost impossible to find. It's easier to find these, uh, archite ones than it is to find some of the ones we're looking for. But we'll see. Randy will eventually bless us at some point, I'm sure. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. <laughs>